world is changing. The world's climate is changing. Global warming is real. The polar regions matter, and they matter a lot. Big changes that happen due to natural consequences, as well as human-caused ones, can be reflected in the polar regions much more quickly than they would, say, in the breadbasket of the United States. Glaciers are retreating, and sea ice is, is shrinking, and permafrost is melting. The polar regions of Earth are kind of like the canary in the coal mine of what's happening to our planet. It takes a catalyst, an impetus sometimes, to organize all the ideas together and link things. And those linkages are where we make the bold, if you will, paradigm-busting discoveries. You need to look at the macro scale. You need perspective, you need context. You need to look at the ice in its entirety. And the only way you can do that is from space with satellites. When you look at a satellite data set, and, and you see something, you see the ice streams, which are these large rivers of ice uh, in satellite imagery, but see it in a way that nobody else has ever recognized it before. That's just a, a crystallizing moment. We've revolutionized our understanding of how ice sheets behave, for instance. The conventional thinking was, well, ice sheets are big and thick, and it takes centuries, thousands of years even, for changes in today's climate to affect ice sheets. But change today is showing up in ice sheets almost immediately. We're seeing from space glaciers accelerating. We're seeing rapid and catastrophic breakup of large ice shelves that have been there for thousands, 10,000 years. Just instant, almost, responses to changes in today's climate. I think during IPY, gives us an opportunity to explain to people why those changes matter to them. It's not just a signal that the climate is changing, but the fact that those things are happening affect them directly. And NASA isn't, isn't going to confine itself to exploring the polar regions of just this planet. In 2008, during the IPY, NASA will land the Phoenix Mars Polar Lander right near the edge of the ice sheet that makes up the, the northern uh, ice cap of Mars. And Phoenix will be the first ever lander to Mars that will actually investigate what's in the water, frozen as ice, up in these regions. In 2008, during the IPY, NASA will launch the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. And this vehicle will explore in earnest, using remote sensing, the poles of the moon, relate them back to our Earth poles, even to the poles of Mars, and open that frontier, we hope, for human presence and eventually sustain human presence. My hope is that during IPY, people will recognize their stewardship role as inhabitants of this planet. Climate change, the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, the cryosphere. It's all about these things working together to solve problems. How does our Earth work? How can we predict what's going to happen to it? How can we understand the forcings that people cause? And so I think polar science will, will be more valued after IPY. Lots of ideas to carry us far into the future.